you mean? Eight hundred dollars is just not enough. You... Oh, I'm gonna smash everything in this goddamn shop. You better pay up better next time, or else it's gonna be on. I'm gonna firebomb your homes. You ever seen Mr. In Between? Huh? That's how us Aussies roll, mate. If you haven't seen Mr. In Between, then you better watch me because it's an idea of what's gonna be coming for you. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Now, let's get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some things to discuss before... We've got to get out of here before the cops come, because I just caused a little bit of a scene, all right? It's known to happen. Jump in, quick. Get in the old international here. Ugh. Let's fire it up. Get on back to the homestead. Now we've got some things to discuss. Very important things, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as we drive on home here. Uh, let me check the... Oh, and of course the rooster shows up. All right, let's get, let's get the hell out of here. Am I in gear? No. Let's just cut across here. No time. All right, do a burnout. Does this whole rig do a burnout? I don't think she's got the oomph to do a burnout. Ah! This is what I think of your $800, asshole! <laughs> oh! Oh! Shit. Let's bail. Let's bail, guys, quick. We're out of here. We probably won't be returning to this shopping mall. They're going to have our names and our face on the damn board. Now! I've got some things to talk to you about, as I was saying. Here, let me put my hand on your leg. Now, in the next few weeks, this bogan's going to be pretty busy, all right? Got the school holidays coming, and we're actually taking the kids away and leaving the farm for a couple of days, and... It's just going to be a hectic time. All right, so by the time you see this, the videos from this point on are going to be um, pre-recorded. Right, I'm going to put an effort in and try and make a bunch so you guys aren't missing out. Now, that of course means that the comments, all right, the awesome comments that you, oh, you bloody legends that you make to me, all right, warms the old bogan's heart. It's not going to line up, all right? So in the... Yeah, next two weeks, things aren't going to line up. Now, I am going to make sure... What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to premiere the episodes, all right? And and I know now roughly what time you guys uh, watch these. Uh, let's get the lights on. Oh, shit. Here we are. I know roughly what time you guys get the lights on. <laughs> get the lights on. <laughs> watch these episodes. God damn, my brain. Uh, and I'm going to try and premiere the episode so I can live chat with you. Wherever I'm at, I can be on my phone and like, or whatever, and you know, message you back to what you're saying. Alright, I'm sorry, but it's just, that's just life. It's going to have to be that way for the next few episodes. Um, I am going to try and do a live, at, like, I've been getting some recordings of me doing shit around the place. And... You know, they're just all sorts. They're all over the place. They're not very good, but I might try and throw them together if I get time. I may not, but I'm going to try. So, um, now, the next order of business, all right, and this is probably the most important. It's just, for me as an Aussie, all right, it's just weird and not right that I call you all by your first name. Now, I don't know if you know any Australians, you guys. But no one calls anyone by their first name, with maybe the exception of old Rick, right? So, Rick. But well, I would probably call you Huo. Or Ricky. You know, um, if you were over here. Everyone has a nickname, including myself. In fact, I've had so many nicknames over my life, I just... I can't even begin to start. Like, I've, <laughs> I've had Spork and... And uh, I'm not going to dox myself with my real name. But, um, you know, I've, I've had heaps. I've even had Hachmal <laughs> Muchemachem by one crazy bloke. And I'm, I have no Arabic heritage or whatever. For whatever reason, he just called me that. Auss Aussies are weird with our naming conventions. Now, that means that I need to give you guys honorary Australian names. Yes. <laughs> And if you don't like it, too bad. Sorry, that was probably a bit loud. Uh, so, look. 
Rick, probably you're going to stay the same, all right? But it's an honorary. It's a good Australian name, Rick. Right? Um, might call you Rico, but you know, probably Huo, because your last name's Hewitt there. So I don't know. I'll think about that one. But you other guys, all right? Chris, you would definitely be called either Chrissy, Chriso, or Kingy. All right. So I'm going to call you Kingy. Because that's just the way it goes, right? So, Kingy. Yeah. Um, it just, it's just odd for me to call anyone by their first name. It just sounds so formal, like saying Chris. All right? It's just not how us Aussies work. So, and like I was saying, if you were over here, that is what your name would be. So, and like, just not me making that up. That's just how it would happen. All right? Let's get this backed up here. Miles! <laughs> You would definitely be called Brushy. Alright? That's... That is 100% what your name would be. Ugh, let's shut this old rig down. Um, there we go. Ugh. Now. Uh, Sunny, yours... For tw Sunny 420, yours is easy. You'd, would, you'd just be called Sunny. Alright? And, uh... Yeah, let's see. Let's make sure... Because... My brain is, you know, stuffed. So let's just have a look. So definitely, yeah. I know your name's Kingsley, right, Chris? But we call you Kingy, all right? That's definitely what your name would be. Um, Rick, you know what? People would probably just call you Huo, honestly, here in Australia. Sunny420, Sunny is definitely thing. And Miles Brushy, all right? That is 100% what you would be called. So that's what I'm that's how I'm gonna to refer to you guys from this point on. And if you don't like it then too bad because it's just weird and ugh, icky. Alright, it makes me you know, I can make some pretty bloody out there homoerotic um jokes. But man, calling people by their first names like that is super gay. Alright? It's just not done out here. So that's what we gotta Now the other thing I'm gonna say Oh, man, mucking around with those plows, all right? So by the time you see this, let's get here in the warm. It's freezing bloody cold. Oh. Let's warm the old jingle balls here by the fire and turn them back into some proper Swedish meatballs, all right? The plow. I had a look at that leveler that we were talking about, Huo. All right? Um, that level, yeah, the leveler for the tractor. It was all right. I didn't like it, but I found a solution, all right, to our snow plowing needs. And this is how it's going to happen. We're going to mount it to the front of that F250 out there, all right? Now, it does have a mount. I spent a couple of hours trying to work this out, and I think this is going to be the best way that we can do it. And then we are going to um, go plow. Now, that is the other thing. Holy shit, we need to service this too. Actually, let's just service it now, all right? Oh, man. And then we're going to customize. And then we're going to put the plow on. Bang. All right? So that's going to cost us $1,000. Bang. I hope that didn't restore my paint. No, good, sweet. Um, and then we're going to go down. Oh, excuse me. And, uh, check out this other plan. Now, okay, actually, we'll get it from here. We'll order it online. Now, I'm sorry, my brain's a bit all over the place, so bear with me here. Um, where would it be? In snow equipment. Here, check this out. Um, HD Modding and, uh, Spencer. Who, um, if you boys probably know them, there's like the squad and that. Made these plows specifically for our rig. All right for the um, diesel division customs rigs. So this one will work, all right? Now, I haven't tested it extensively, but I do know that it actually will hook up. And that's about as much as I know. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this beast, all right? And we are gonna go plow. Now I've decided that to do this, because, and the reason is, <laughs> the reason is not only do we need money, but, um, 
Oh, for the sake of time, all right, we're going to get paid $6,000 to do the road. And that's the way I'm working it out. And I won't be able to see your comments of disagreement or agreement in the meantime because of the way that this is all going to work out over the next couple of weeks. Now, I'm sorry about this whole bullshit at the start of this, all right? And we're going to go play on right bloody now. We're doing it at night time when the traffic's quieter, okay? Because I'm looking into it a little bit. That's pretty common over there, all right? Work all through the night, you guys. So, firewood's going to wait for the now, and we are going plowing, all right? Just like we said. Now, I know a few of you said that you would like, that's what you would like to see, and that's what we're going to bloody do. And this is how we're going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yes. How are we going for fuel? We can get fuel while we're down there. So, six grand is what I've sort of fathomed in my head to run around and do this job for the city. That's what I'm going to charge. And I didn't do that off any of the basis that you told me. It's just an arbitrary number. I thought I'd double what I did for the town. Um, and thank you again and for all those awesome comments. And, like, it's cool to learn about how you guys do stuff. I really actually dig that. And let me make sure I'm actually recording. I am. Am I? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Um... That's how stupid I am, ladies and gentlemen. Right! Let's get down there and do this. So, yeah, as I was saying to you, um, things are going to be different for the next couple of episodes. Uh, the suggestions, I won't be able to implement them, basically. Uh, so I'm just going to go. And, and it, basically what I'm going to do over the next couple of days is record as much as I possibly can. And then eke them out to you over the next two weeks. Um, so things may not line up. And when I'm basically... Uh, right now, this morning is when I was able to get on and uh, talk to you about the, that leveller and the snow plows and stuff. I was talking to you fellas, so... You kind of get the idea of how behind these are. And that is... Uh, mainly because of the 4K upload. Right. The 4K upload take, can take up to six hours, and sometimes more, to finish. And I don't want to release any more shitty quality videos, alright? Like, visually shitty. I want them to be mint and crisp! I'm like a minty, crispy young chap, yes! <laughs> alright, let's get on with it. We're going to head down and play out this thing. We've got the agreement. Now, it was cool to learn, um, yeah, so ploughing is a private affair over there, hey? So, private businesses, I think it was Kingy who said this, private businesses have to pay for their own shit, and that's fair enough. That would be the same as over here, too. So, look at this. Beautiful. It's going to make for a cool thumbnail too, uh, plowing in the in the thing. We're going to do both sides of the road, all right? And the little bit I did test, we're going to be able to do this at full speed, <laughs> at maximum power. Yes. So we'll um, see how it goes. Anyway, all right. we have another drink here. Ah, all right. So hopefully this episode's going to be inter entertaining. We will see. But yeah, as I was saying, the next couple of episodes are going to be just me hauling ass and making as much bank as I can. All right? And that's bank, not wank. I do plenty of wanking on my free time. So making as much money as we can. And it's going to be mainly firewood and doing this snow play on stuff. All right. How's the fellas down there? Hey, boys! Hey! I'll give you a wave and a... I've got a horn, actually, on this steering wheel, so... Can't honk as I go past your place. Alright. And, of course, I'm not going to charge you fellas to clear your driveways. Hell no. Boom! And look at that! <laughs> yes! 
the power! The power we have in our hands now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how I can get this to work. Um. Whoop. Now, yeah, that was what I found. Doing this sort of makes the doors open. <laughs> so I have to sort of... Eh, eh. No! So you sort of got to adjust it like that. All right, brilliant. Look at us go. Oh, we're all ready to rock and roll. Look at this beautiful evening, ladies and gentlemen. My God. You guys are so lucky up there in the north. I was definitely born in the wrong country. Now, let's get moving. Look at this. Look at this. The power! We now wield, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So right now we are gonna we're gonna start and finish here at the shop. All right, so let's get moving. Oh, I, I'm dumping more than I'm actually fixing here. So let's for starters get the lights back on, and we got to work out this level. Uh, that it? There we go. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are off. Play on the thing. Six grand we are going to make from this. Oh! That hurt. So there's probably going to be bumps. We're probably going to run into issues along the way, but look at us go. And look at that for a thumbnail. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, that is a mountain of snow. All right. <clears throat> now I'll put this on. So you guys can see the revs we're using. Actually, we'll go down to second gear for starters. And away we go. Shit. So we can't go too fast because it seems to dump it. And I can't seem to angle it any more than I already have. Now, I was learning too that you guys salt the roads. Now, I knew you did that, but I didn't realise to the extent. Like, holy shit. No wonder your cars are all rusty and shit, man. Wow. Um, see, we don't have that problem here. Thankfully. Look at this mountain of snow. My God. But we're clearing the roads. Look at that. Much better than it was. And now you guys rate me too. You, <laughs> you let me know. Do I, am I doing a good job or a shit job? Let's get this off here. Yeah. Let this car go past. There you go, mate. Off you go. Get on you, buddy. Alright. Keep rolling. Beautiful. Beautiful! Ha ha ha! Oh. Now, also, I got a feeling the kids brought home the bug. Um, getting sick. All right, that's not going to stop me from carrying on like a bloody larrikin. But you might be able to tell in me voice and me nose. All right. So uh, I apologise for that too. <clears throat> not much I can do about it, though, except drink whiskey and get healthy again. All right. Now, it's awesome talking to you guys, and I, I do very much appreciate the comments. Huh? I mean it. I like it. It's good. It makes me feel warm inside. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I don't know where this map actually ends, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. <clears throat> but six grand we're going to earn. For this. And it's going to probably take up a big chunk of the episode, if not all of it, so... <coughs> you can hear the cough, me coughing and carrying on, that's, uh... I'm definitely getting sick. Which is... Oh, and shit, there's the end. Alright, let's get this snow off there. Boom. Reverse. You can hear a train somewhere in the distance. Alright. 
there's the boundary of our territory the other boys can take over. Uh, the ploughing from there now. Ugh, okay, here we go. We're off. <coughs> I'm not going to sing to you today because, yeah, I'm getting crook and it would sound even worse than uh, it normally does. Uh, uh, sound like two old men fucking in an alleyway or something. <coughs> so, uh, which is, yeah, not much better than it normally sounds, but, uh, yeah, we'll uh, leave it at that. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Okay, pay attention to what you're doing, dumbass. <laughs> Look at that pile of snow. Bloody hell. Yeah, what's going to happen here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're just sort of pushing it into the center of the road. I can't angle it any... Yeah, I c can't angle it any sharper, any harder. Like, that's sort of... Oh, did actually. There you go. That might help. Yeah, it's sort of weird how it works. As you can see, it mucks around with the doors and the ute. Even though you can see up the top I've got it selected. I don't know, it's just some thing with the mods. That's okay though, we still love them and we love the mod creators, alright? If any mod creators out there uh, ever watch this or see this... I love you. <laughs> Give you a big sloppy wet kiss, yes! <laughs> no homo. Right, it's only gay if you push back. That's what I heard, anyway. Um, so, yeah. Thank you to all the modders. You make this game actually playable. Because, man. <laughs> I mean, Giants are good at making a little, like, a base game. But this game would have nowhere near the life it does without the creators of the mods. So, we love you, and we thank you for your, uh, artistry. Uh. Yeah, let's... Are we even going to be able... Oh, we can sort of see. We can't tell how good a job or not we're doing. How are you guys? You comfy? Huh? Opens the door. Oh, shit. Actually, don't muck around with it. No, I did already... God damn it! Did that stuff that up? Yep. Oh, it's so weird. Okay, there. Bang. Um. Look at that. Much better. We're sort of leaving a strip, though. We're just learning, alright? I'm an Aussie. I've never done any... I've never had to shovel a single, like fuckteenth of snow in my life. Never bothered. So, I'm learning. Alright? I'm learning. Look at me go. Alright? One day I could become a snowback like all of you northerners. Hell yes. I'd love to, actually. Yeah, I was... Oh, originally, I really wanted to move to Canada. And then Trudeau happened, and I thought, nah, bugger that. And I'm glad I did, because, well, the last eight years for you guys, man. And then I thought, uh, I'm going to move to Alaska. And then Biden happened. And then I was like, yeah, nah, bugger that. Oh, shit! I can't steer. Oh, I'm holding up the highway. Ugh! Yeah, I'm... Hey! Stop bibbing! I'm trying! I'm trying, alright? I'm Australian. I'm stuck. Alright, there we go. I'm Australian, so everyone, sorry. I put my hand out the window and... <coughs> waved 
to all the people. All right. Are we back on track? We are. Look at this. Much better. Now, I'm trying to follow that white line. Now, all these cars behind me, they'll be thanking me for clearing the road, so they should stop honking their horns or I'll get out and flog them. All right? Oh, and that reminds me, Huo, uh, Rick. Uh, people have called me Mick Taylor in the past. All right? I'm not even joking. Um, I worked at a high school for a little while, and I got that quite a bit. Um, and Mick Taylor, if you don't know, is the sort of fictional character in Wolf Creek. Uh, the movie Wolf Creek. <laughs> um, I'm not as old as him. I'm 37. But, uh, yeah, people say I do look like him quite a bit. Especially when I got the flannels on. Um, of course, now I've got a big mighty beard. I don't have me shaved chin and mutton chops. So, uh, yeah. That is, when you said that, man, I had a bit of a chuckle. Uh, when you wrote that, sorry. I had a bit of a laugh because you weren't far off from the truth. Other nicknames I've had or other, like, things that they've called me, the kids. I got, uh, I got Jesus a lot. Because I got long hair. And, uh, when the beard was growing back. And I got, um, my favourite was Discount Hagrid. <laughs> oh, fuck, that made me laugh. The kid called me Discount Hagrid once. It was brilliant. Uh, I was in tears of laughter. I was like, I want everyone to call me Discount Hagrid from now on. But, uh, yeah, that was a good job, man. Kids were cool. Worked a lot with them in the... And you guys call it shop, I think. But over here, it's called tech. We do uh, woodwork and metalwork. Um, ag. ag. Agriculture especially was my speciality. Um, but I loved, wood, loved doing woodwork with the kids too. That was awesome. But, yeah. Yeah, I believe you guys call it shop. So out here in rural Australia, that is still very prevalent most kids go into jobs we call it primary industries most kids go into primary industry jobs um, in some way or another uh, that includes forestry mining you know fisheries agriculture all the millions of different types of jobs that go into agriculture uh, so yeah that was a cool job but I left that after nine years. Oh, no! <laughs> We've lost power. Hey! You fucking... Uh, I unzipped my pants. Fuck you, buddy! Uh, 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 Ugh. Ugh, shake it off. All right, that's what you get, you sons of bitches. You be patient while I plow these goddamn roads for you. Yeah. Now you can wait behind and let that piss freeze on your bonnet. Although the roads here aren't that bad, so I could probably speed up. Except I can't fucking steer. There we go. There we go. I've adjusted it. We're all right. We're all right. Now, will it get this, though? Yes. But yeah, I love hearing what you guys do for work as well. Um, if you want to, let me know. And I'll try and incorporate it now. Uh, Kingy, or Chris. Um, yeah, definitely Kingy. All right, Kingy. You said you're a, a, a part... Uh, you, you're a man... I think GM is general manager... Is that right? A general manager in a parts store. That's awesome. Good on you, buddy. So, uh, getting the parts for our rigs in the future is going to be definitely a part of all this. All right. 
Um, oh, I should have used it for the maintenance of the Ford, too. Can you do Ford parts? Maybe I can get a rebate. Alright, let's pick up the pace a little bit. Hopefully that third person view is alright for you guys. We've got to watch out. The cops might still be down here at the shops looking for me. I caused a bit of a scene. Uh, and yeah, I was going to say that too. Um, uh, if you want to watch a really, really good Australian show um, and sort of get an idea of the way us Aussies are, watch a show called Mr. In Between. All right? It, I've never seen it before until just recently and it was awesome, man. And another re another really good movie to get some Australiana India is uh, like forget that crocodile Dundee shit. All right, it's all right, but for it's it's its time, you know. Have a look at Chopper Reed or Chopper. The movie is with Eric Benner, and uh, that'll give you an idea, you know. Chopper is one of our folk heroes, one of my personal heroes too, like, oh, it, it really, I mean, the guy is a piece of absolute, he was a piece of shit, like, he's dead now, um, but he, he didn't pick on innocent people, he picked on criminals, alright, and that's the kind of attitude that we have around here, alright, criminals are fair game, alright. Like, look at Ned Kelly, probably my biggest hero. Right? Ned Kelly took on the British government, just a crazy Irish fella, took on the police and everything because they were corrupt as hell. They still are, all right? especially Victoria Police, but all the coppers got no dramas with police, as I said in the last episode, but the people that are in charge of them are fucked, all right? and they can get fucked. Um... And it, it's soon... It'd be about time for them to understand who's actually in fucking charge, all right? But, you know, Ned Kelly and those boys and Chopper Reed, it's, right, it's fine to pick on criminals, all right? But, yeah, help innocent people as best you can, you know? Guys down on their luck, you get out there and you can help... You help them as much as you can. That's how the world should operate, especially for us blokes, all right? It's our job to uh, protect, protect the weak, and just be good fellas. Huh? And if there's anyone, any scumbags out there that want to prey on the weak, then you better watch the fuck out, boy. I tell you what. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. But you want to see some like good Aussie shit? Watch Mister In Between. Watch Chopper the movie with Eric Banner um you get an idea yeah. so they would be my recommendations but anyway oh shit we've lost steering there we go oh get asshole trying to plow the goddamn road no uh. A tidy six grand we're going to get for all this. Man. That's not too bad. Like, see these drifts here on the side? They're not too bad, but... Um, I'm going to try and get it out of the middle of the road. Mainly. And if you disagree with the six grand, look, you can actually tell me you think that's not fair. Uh, if that's too much. Uh, and tell me, and I'll adjust it whenever I can. I'll, like, delete a bit of money or whatever. But, uh, I'll leave it in your hands. But, yeah. That was the sort of just the arbitrary number I came up with, which was double the town. And I just thought it would sort of be that in time. But see, a lot of spots up here on the road are clear. So. Oh! Who, so, who turned the lights out? <laughs> All right, let's keep rolling. And that is it. Let's get out of the way of these cars. Go on, fuck off. 
How many cars did I hold up and piss on? A few. Back we go. Come on. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Now, I hope the camera angle's okay for you guys. But I don't really know what the hell I'm doing on this. I'm just hitting record and going, so... Um, you have to bear with me for that. Full speed ahead. So the road's all clear here, so let's let's hit the gas. Yeah, we do a fuel. We're okay. We're okay. And what I should probably do is side of the road here. Let's get that angled down a bit more. There we go. Oh yeah, definitely here. That's dangerous, don't you know? Right. Beautiful. So yeah, I apologise in advance. Things are going to be a bit different for the next two weeks, but we'll get back to the regularly scheduled shit show um, immediately after. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will probably because the the next episode for you guys is it's uploaded now uh and it's processing in 4k and i'm going to release that first thing tomorrow morning um i'm really keen to know what vehicles you guys want me to put in your driveways uh which you drive around just as a little like thank you and a, a nod of a tip of my hat to you for commenting and joining along now, I haven't given Sonny a house yet, but I'm thinking of maybe Sonny can have a business in town, yeah. Maybe, actually, Sonny, you could be a part of the, uh, because you got 420 in your name, so let's put you with the boys in the Cheech and Bong's shop. All right. So, if you want a vehicle, you tell me what vehicle you want, uh, and I'll see if I can find it and put it down and... Whoa! Not doing a very good job there. Uh, see if I can put it down. See if I can find it as a mod and put it down there for you. So yeah, it's it's that's the weirdest thing about doing these YouTube videos. Is um like <laughs> the fact that it's recorded. And then the conversations happen, and then we've got to catch up. And that's something I'm learning. So, and how to do and implement it and stuff. But, you know, I'll say in the one you're seeing it after this it hasn't been released yet, but. <laughs> fucking hell, my brain. Um, I don't even know. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's hard to do. It's weird. I didn't, I never really took it into account. Um,. And now I've got you guys talking and and interacting with the bogan. I'm learning that it's uh, tricky. It's interesting. It's fun though. Really good. But yes, you guys let me know what vehicles you want. If you haven't already and I'm just seeing it, so. I shall do my best. Or if you have a favourite mod that you play with and you just want it sitting out in the driveway here for you to see each time the episode's on, perfect. So. See how you go. Alright. Look at us now. Man. Got that angle perfect. There's a couple of snow drifts I missed on the other side, but too bad! Alright. Just a little little snow drift. It's fine. 
The majority of it's plea. And let me know what you think of your nicknames too. I'm happy to change it. I was carrying on a bit about whether you like it or not. But in all seriousness, uh, oh jeez, I didn't do a very good job on that side, did I? Wow. Um, yeah, I did a terrible job on that side. Jeez, I mustn't have been paying attention. Oh shit, lost steering. There we go. The city might not hire me again if I don't clean that up. Go back and clean it up. Let these cars get past. Get back. Whoa! It's sort of hard to work out the angles as we go on. We'll get there, we'll get there. Oh shit! Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's fix up this little bit that we stuffed up. Can't be leaving it like that. Otherwise the city will never hire us again. And we've lost steering. Come on. Um, where'd my steering go? There we go. I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, okay, sorry guys, sorry. Look at that, that's better. Much better. Huh? You guys are probably screaming at your screens like, You're missing it, you idiot! <laughs> Fantastic, there we go. Much better. Pull in here. Uh, they're past. Oh, shit! Nearly just took out a car. Alright. We're right, we're right. Fuck you, buddy. Let's get back up to where we were. I think it was here somewhere. Oh, it's so... If you just flick it, you can get it. Whoa, at the right angle. Oh! I'll lose power. I'll lose steering. Why do I keep saying power? Man, I'm stupid. All right, go on, fuck off. Move! How do you like that? Ah! All right. My poor dog. <laughs> he thought he got in trouble then. Uh, I'm sorry, boy. Yeah, my dog uh, is a monster, right? He's he's big. He's a Turkish Kangal. And uh, he weighs 79 kilos. God, I did a shit job on that side too. Um, she'll be right. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, so, I'm so used to saying like, Move, move, move. When I just yelled, Move! He was like, Oh, fuck. Because, <laughs> yeah, I live in this really small thing. A really small house I call the shit shack, alright? It's like narrow and long, but yeah. You guys, it's like. It's pretty much a trailer trash home, just like asbestos fibro with a tin roof, you know? Like built in the fucking late 60s. It's fallen to pieces. Um. But, you know, it's all I got, so. 
Um, but yeah, what I was saying is the dog, he takes up so much space. Like you got to um, really <laughs> maneuver him to get around, you know, and he's always getting in the way of wanting pats and, or just interested in what you're doing. And he's just so big that, yeah, you got to squeeze around him and yeah, you get what I'm saying. God, I did not do a good job on that side, did I? Well, too bad, I expect my money anyway. It's clearer than it was, we'll say that. Now, what's going to happen here? Nothing good. Now, is this entertaining to watch? I don't know. I thought it might be boring as hell. I'm trying to keep talking. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's such a weird thing to do to, uh... To keep constantly talking as you're playing. We'll get there, we'll get there, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! <laughs> um, I'm oh. Uh, uh, oh, dear. What have you guys been up to, anyway? What's been happening? Hey? What's going on in the world? I saw too, um... I'm nearly up to 250 Legends and Larrikins. That's pretty cool. That's sort of halfway to the arbitrary goal I've made in my mind of 500. You know? 500 of you awesome people. And I know you don't all have the chance to watch it and <clears throat> do all that. But I thank you for subscribing anyway. I do appreciate it. Got to... I'm supposed to keep saying it, like... When you watch, um... People doing YouTube, always like, make sure you say that you like, like and subscribe and... You know... Eh. Eh. It's just... It's an interesting thing. social media in general, really. Very interesting thing. Alright. Oh, shit! Okay. It's a bit of a weird corner. We got it, though. Look at that. Beautiful. It's pretty wild, um, the, what you guys are telling me, how much snow plows, um, get made, uh, make. $120 an hour. You know. For the government service, I guess a private business that was charging a government, a building, like a fire department or something, would be through the roof. Like they said, uh, I think it was Kingy. Thousand bucks, man. Wow. For a car park. That's huge money. I'd love, you know, if I ever do move there, it's definitely what I want to get into. <clears throat> I, I was thinking, um, too, um, the recovery, like the guys that get, uh, slip into snowbanks and stuff, like getting called out to go and pull them out, I reckon that'd be a mad job. That'd be a cool job. It's very seasonal, I'd imagine, but you know, you work your ass off through winter and then take it a bit easy through the summer. Although your summers over there are awesome. They're not ridiculously fucking hot like they are here. So, 
I mean, in sh I'm sure they are in areas, but yeah. Um, for the up north, you know. I know you guys can reach up to 30 degrees Celsius in the summers and that, but I'll tell you, when you're hitting the 40 plus degrees Celsius, I don't know what that is in yours. I think it's like 110 Fahrenheit. Something like that. That's unbearable shit. And I know you get that in like Arizona in your deserts and stuff. But, uh, New Mexico, Texas. See, look, I know I'm, I'm good with my geography. Huh? I could probably name all your states. And I'll bet you guys can't name mine. Huh? You goddamn Yankees. Learn some culture outside of your own. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. You do what you fucking like, and everyone else can fuck off. But, uh... Yeah. As I've mentioned before, I'm going to Texas this year. Huh? That's the plan anyway. Hopefully I can save up the money. The way things are at the moment, man, the world's gone to shit. It has gone to shit. Cost of living. Just through the fucking roof, man. Feeling the pinch hard, ladies and gentlemen. Feeling it hard. That's just life. Life on the open road, yes. Speaking of life on the open road, I... I used to, uh, Especially when I was playing in bands and things, you know, be on the road and... Travelling around on the Harley-Davidson and... Camping up and down the coast. Man, those were the days. Good times. Good times. Alright. Oh, shit! Oh! Are you right? Oh, are you right? Man! Oh. Hold your horses. Just ran into something. And what the fuck that was. And I realised that shitty spot I did before was definitely where I was in first person. <laughs> Look at this. We can speed up the process a bit. Look, the snow's pretty clear on the roads here. Let's uh, lift it up. Get moving. It looks like there's going to be more work to do on the other side of the road, for sure. Look at that there. Now, hopefully this is entertaining to watch. I was a bit worried about it. You know? Like, it's... You can see it's chewing up the whole episode. How long have we been going now? Holy shit! Yeah, the episode's... <laughs> it's nearly up. Holy crap. All right. Might go a little bit longer today. Just as an apology to for the next couple of weeks. Um, well, shit, I just made that corner way worse than it was. Um, yeah, we'll go a little bit longer. Ah, oh, fuck. We'll finish this. We're not. I won't just end it. I'll finish the job. Oh, it's such a delicate balance between sliding and... Look at that. Boom! But yeah, I wanted to do a winter playthrough for just this reason. Like, learn these mechanics of the games. I've never really done it, you know, in all the years I've been playing Farm and Sim. Um, so it was just something a bit different, you know? not sure what we're going to do when winter's over. I want to get some chickens and animals and we'll have to really push the logging um, and clear some areas for the dope growing. That's the big, that's the main goal of this and we, we, uh, i got to try not to forget that. Been doing a lot of logging and firewood and stuff so far, but the end game is going to be making big 
big money growing weed. Right? Clear in the area, make a bit of cash out of doing that. Um, obviously- Oh! Oh! My balls just got pinched. Um, making a bit of money doing that in the meantime. But yeah. Being a drug lord. <laughs> Not <laughs> Being a drug lord, that's what I want to be in life. Yes! What finer goal. You know? <laughs> This looks pretty rough here, let's slow down. Make sure we do a good job. And not run off the side of the road like that, oh god! Boom. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the next episode is going to be spent in the international quite a bit. Um, I haven't seen, um, uh, obviously it's not released yet at the time of recording this, but in the episode before I asked what you think we should call that international, the Travelette, the firewood truck, if you got a name for her, you put it down there and we'll see, you know, give each other a thumbs up, you know, have a look at the comments yourselves, guys, and... Give each other a thumbs up, see which, you know, who comes up with the... Whoever's got the most likes on the name is what we'll use. I think that's the best way to do that. And if there's a tie, then I'll, you know, make the decision. Oh, shit! God damn. Uh, oh man, my god. So yeah. Obviously not as silly an episode today as normal. Um, just simply because it's just driving and talking. But hopefully it's entertaining for you. I apologise if it's boring as shit. Gotta make money, Arthur! Gotta make money! Look at the other side of the road, holy shit. We got our work cut out for us over there, ladies and gentlemen, my god. Oh, and it looks like we're about to. Alright. Let's lift it up. Shut the fuck up. Getting out of the way. Should be thanking me, you ungrateful pricks. Alright. Whoa, don't hit their car. That's an insurance claim waiting to happen. Right. Whoa. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no. Um. What the fuck? I don't know if I can actually do this. Yes. There we go. Look at that pile of snow. We're just going to have to do it like this, aren't we? It gets too big like that, I'm gonna have to push it. Alright, go you impatient bastards. Yeah, that's right, you'll get stuck. Fucking hell, look at these cars. It's the middle of the goddamn night, you assholes. Shouldn't you be in bed fapping? Alright. That's a lot of snow! Uh. 
Hold your horses, mate. Hold your horses. Alright, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yes! <laughs> Fantastic. Been fucking tastic. All right. <sighs> I think I've said this before, but yes, I do apologise for the interruption over the next two weeks. Can't be helped. All right. A bogan's got to live. Got to get his kids out in there and see the real world. Instead of locked away here in the mountains. Get him out of the dungeon. <laughs> well, <laughs> just kidding, of course, but... We're going to take him into the big city. Into Sydney, yes. Show him... Uh, show him the absolute shit feel that it is. You can't see the harbour bridge. I mean, I've seen it a billion times, but... Kids, they've never seen it. Right? It's, you know... It's about a four hour drive from us, where we are, so not too far, but there. Yeah. Take him into the shitty city and and show him the disgust. Hopefully they'll be thankful for where we live. <laughs> Out in the middle of bloody nowhere. It's fantastic. It's fantastic, and I'm sliding. Ugh. Look at this drift. Man. Beautiful. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I was born to do this job. Right? This was my calling. <laughs> Says as he makes it obviously worse. <laughs> Go on, get past you, larrikin. Go on, fuck off! Alright, there we go. Still got a fair way to go, too, so... We're heading back to the... We're heading back in the right direction to finish this off. So... I think the six grand is going to be fair. Alright. But if you disagree, make sure you let me know. Um, use the power of democracy, ladies and gentlemen. If you, you know, if you vote that it's uh, six grand, then that's good. If not, then I'll change it. I'm saying the power of democracy, yes. Beautiful. Man, the old Ford's putting in the work today. My god. Been relieved of fire truck... Uh, f yeah, fire truck... No, not... F firewood duties. Huh? Still got... Uh, the majority of the workload to do for us. Now, I'm not sure if I'd mentioned this, but I returned the big Ford, the big tractor. Uh, it was just costing us too much money. To keep uh, in the rental fees, and yeah, as because as you can see, we keep going backwards. All right, we make a little bit of money, and then it's gone within an eye blink, and we're not really doing it in a way that's efficient. Um, and I have got this on like hard economy and stuff, so that is why. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to be doing firewood runs. Okay. You just prepare your ass for that lube up, boy, because it's going in hard and dry. Hell yeah! <laughs> God damn. That's fucked up. Alright. Let's keep rolling.
Nearly there, nearly there. Well, not really, but we're heading in the right direction. Beautiful. Whoa, look at this. Bit of work to do here, lads. Yeah, hopefully you guys, you know, you're just chilling out, sitting down with a beer or a coffee or whatever floats your boat. Whatever's your poison. Relaxing and just watching as we clear these roads. You're probably screaming at me for the shitty job I'm doing like that over there. But I don't care! Alright. Yeah, what, what the hell? It, it just came back. I swear I cleared all that on the other side. Oh well, whatever. In fact, I definitely did. Whoa, that's a big pile of shit. Alright. Oh yeah, as I was going to say before, that um, Mick Taylor, right? Um, this is for you, uh, Hugo, Rick. Um, yeah, he's based off a serial killer here in Australia named Ivan Malat, and he was called the Backpack Killer, and he would basically track down backpackers from other countries and. Yeah, uh, had his way with them, shall we say. My God. Um, but yeah, that's who that character is sort of based off. He was a real serial killer. Pretty messed up. Pretty messed up. And that's what I was saying to Hugh as well. Uh, it's... Everyone thinks that us Aussies are, you know, just beach-going hippies and shit, but you got to remember, we were a fucking convict. We were an island that they dumped us off because they they knew that if the convicts escaped, that the most likely would die, all right? There's no escape from this island. It's a huge, huge place. It's the same size... If you didn't know this, all right, Australia, as a landmass, is the same size as the USA. It's almost a little bit bigger. But we only have a handful of people here. You guys have got about 300 and... Is it 380? 380 million people in America? Going up by the second, thanks to Joe Biden. Uh, whoa, look at these line of cars. But over here in Australia, we've got like 20 million for that whole land mass. And sure that cities and places like that you know they get all of the money and that's what you see on tv a lot i'll tell you something when you get over the we have a big mountain range that splits the entire east of our country it's sort of like the rockies for you guys but it's on the other side it's on our eastern shores all right um and it splits basically the whole country um down through um, our eastern states alright when you get onto the other side of that it's a whole different world from the cities right? there's very few uh, police like so where I live right I'll give you this as an example we have one police officer that patrols an area probably what would it be equivalent to for you guys a county, like a big county. Um, one police officer. That's it. And everyone knows him by his first name, Will. All right. And there's one police station, and the police station. I'll give you a clue. So it is um, about a hundred kilometres from where I live. That's the closest. Oh no, sorry, it's not the closest. The closest is 40 kilometres. Um, the main station in the city 
um, not far to us, but the policeman that patrols our area, his one is, yeah, between 80 and 100 kilometres away. I'm not sure what that is in miles. And the area is massive that he has to do. So, I can tell you, when there's no authority like that, well, you can you get the idea. People, we look after ourselves out here, we look after our neighbours and each other. That's how it works. All right. Recently, my little town, which is um, about five kilometres away from my actual property, it's an old historic gold mining town. We had some outsiders come in and they were stealing cars. And, uh, yeah. So, basically, the way it works is when outsiders come in, we all know. There's, we got bloody game trail cameras and everything like that. Let's just say it doesn't take long to solve the mysteries. Right? And quite often, those mysteries aren't solved or even handled by police if you catch my drift it's pretty cool that's why I like it out here it's fucking wild west ladies and gentlemen to an extent but let me tell you something the way they keep us down here in this country and really solve those issues is heavy handed as hell like the punishments don't forget we're a convict colony right so the punishments for the most simplest crimes are extremely harsh. The positive being that our modern jails are basically holiday homes. Well, compared to um, some places that you Americans uh, have. I'd say we'd be closer to sort of the Canada style, Canadian style of doing things. But um, a lot of our jails are really old. That's the thing. So like our... <clears throat> um, that have just been retrofitted. So they look pretty harsh, but... Yeah. Condition-wise, they're not that bad. Um, but yeah, the punishments can be extremely harsh. Like... Um, weed, for example. Still illegal in this country. Um, you get caught with anything over three plants. Like three plants of... Um, marijuana it's jail buddy you're going to jail and it could be up to 5 years could be between 5 and 10 years depending on how much if you have a lot and you have an intent to distribute you can go for like 15 longer but weed right. it's fucked up for a goddamn plant man for a goddamn plant it's actually they're the criminals, right? They're the fucking criminals. Alrighty. Let's clear that up. Mess that's been made at the bridge there. Oh, I can't. And I'm stuck. Hang on, hang on. I'm stuck. Oh. So that must be something to do with... Yeah, look at that. That's made that worse. Alrighty. Let's get on home and... Pull it there. Oh, actually, we've got to return the plow blade, don't we? Let's get that up in the air. Turn around. You can fucking wait. Alright, go on. Go on. Hopefully I don't get stuck here. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, move it! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> now, I don't know what I'm going to do about these mounds of shit here, now. Let's see if I can push it out of the way. Shut the fuck up. Bang. Does that help? I think so. A little bit. Um... Whoa! Wrong button. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh! <laughs> oh no, we're stuck. Hang on. Come on. 
Yes. Let me free. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I have to figure out something. Is that shit? All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Me door's open. Everything's falling apart, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's time to end the episode there. Thank you very much. We will see you in the next one. Just going to go return this to the shop. And, uh, yeah. See you soon.